So I was initially really excited for this game because when I first saw the first trailer, it literally reawakened the nostalgia of Battlefield 3 and 4 because the ones that came after really didn't capture me as much as those did. But that's not to say that, you know, they didn't have their moments. Like in Battlefield 1, I would just stand there in awe as I would watch a freaking blimp just fall down and create a new environment when it hit the ground. That was freaking awesome. And in Battlefield 5, Battlefield 5, honestly, in my opinion, had the best gameplay that Battlefield has ever had to offer like i can't think of a single battlefield that had better gameplay and gunplay than battlefield 5 because battlefield to me was only known for its you know big battles not so much its gunplay and hardline we don't talk about hardline but yeah those games had their moments but they didn't really like capture me you know at least not as much as the third and fourth one did but yeah i told myself the only way that i'm coming back to a battlefield is if they actually come out with a bad company 3 or a battlefield 2142 you know because i feel like it's been a while since the last time they've done those type of games and with Battlefield 2042, it was kind of like a compromise, you know? Like, we're not necessarily doing a Battlefield 3 or a 2142, but we'll just slap it right in the middle, you know? And I was like, all right, cool. Battlefield 2042. Awesome. I can dig it. I went ahead and pre-ordered the game in anticipation for the release. But as I started seeing updates, quote unquote, I say quote unquote because the first couple of updates were just really CGI trailers with hardly any gameplay. I mean, don't get me wrong. The CGI trailers give me hype, but they don't exactly explain what the game is going to be or if the gameplay actually looks good so at that time i was just like well i guess i'm gonna have to look for more information i had gone to their website and learned that it was only going to be a multiplayer game which isn't necessarily a bad thing but it in no way justifies that 60 70 dollars price tag like okay if you're still gonna charge 60 70 dollars here's what you gotta do you have to have a good amount of content for the base game and you have to have really good performance and at the time that i was reading the information on the website it wasn't looking very good for the content department because it said that they were going to launch the base game with only seven maps that's pretty low for a triple-a studio and one that has a shit ton of funding like sure the maps are pretty big and can support 120 something players but still for 60 70 dollars and you're only doing multiplayer that's pretty fucking low all right so the content seems kind of iffy there with the maps and then i started to read about the specialist system that's replacing the class system and this just was a huge turnoff for me like, what was wrong with the class system? Like, listen, guys, I get it. You want to innovate. You want to do something new. But this is something where if it's not broken, don't fix it. Battlefield 5 really perfected the class system. And in 2042, they just completely tear it out. We'll talk a little bit more about this later because I want to continue with my roller coaster of a ride. So after reading that, I started to read up on this thing called Hazard Zone. Hazard Zone. Squat up and drop down into the Hazard Zone. An all new high stakes multiplayer experience. Stay tuned for more information later in the year 10 bucks says that this is a battle royale i bet you anything i mean multiple people told me that this wasn't going to be a battle royale but i don't know this one just strikes me as one yeah i read what they had on their website verbatim and for some reason they changed up the text that was where i was reading it yeah it's like something completely different now this is where i remember reading it and it says an all new experience that combines edge of your seat gameplay with the best of battlefield sandbox so it doesn't say what i said before about a month ago so maybe they heard that battlefield 5's battle royale flopped and maybe thought that the text was too much like battle royale and so they changed the text that's just my guess but who knows i just find that really interesting how it's a different text now but yeah i fucking i hate brs i really do like if you followed my channel you know that i really don't like battle royales at all and i'm not really sure why they think that having a battle royale in a battlefield would work for them because they tried to test it with battlefield 5 and that game mode flopped so hard i mean i know why they want to add it in but it's just like battlefield shouldn't be following cheap trends you know they're the ones that are supposed to be the trend set nobody's excited to play a battle royale the only reason battle royales are successful is because there's not like a big fps that's really taken away a lot of the attention but at that time i was told by the stands that hazard zone was obviously going to be like some sort of escape from tarkov mode and since i didn't see any gameplay or anything i couldn't really like you know disprove them at that time so i was just kind of like oh, okay whatever sounds like a br to me but i guess we'll see they were telling me to wait until freaking that one event in uh i think 
think it was June or July, where they said that everything was going to be explained, and I ended up watching that show, and they didn't explain a goddamn thing. The show was an hour long, and they only showed off like three minutes of Battlefield, and my god, the entire show was so freaking cringy, man. Ugh. Just show off the goddamn games. <laughs> Don't try to make me laugh. It's, uh, stop. What I wanted to know was how the specialist system worked, what hazard zone was, if they were actually going to show off gameplay, and they didn't. Like, that's when they announced the new game mode, which is Portal, which I'll admit, that was pretty cool, but again, it was only CGI, and if they did actually show off gameplay, it was very scripted and, like, hardly any. Like, I was starting to see a trend here, because usually at this time, Battlefield almost always opens up its, like, floodgates for people to try out, and, like, an event or something, like, like, I still remember that Battlefield 1 event where I freaking see Snoop Dogg just, like, playing the game, but he's, like, high as fuck, so he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> but, I mean, they were showing off the game to a bunch of people, and that's just not what they were doing with this game. Like, it almost felt like they were hiding something. But, no, the stands to the rescue, you just gotta wait until beta, 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 beta. Yeah, sure. You know, I don't think I've actually seen a Battlefield rely more on leaks than 2042. Okay, fine. I waited until beta. And to be honest, it was a bit of a mixed bag. I'll put a link in the description if you want to actually know my thoughts on the beta. But if you want the gist of it, then the gameplay wasn't bad. Albeit, it was definitely a downgrade from Battlefield 5. Like, there's this great video where he shows off all the features and mechanics that are missing from Battlefield 5. I'll put a link to that in the description so you can just see how much was missing. And don't defend these developers because this is a triple a developer they have the resources money and manpower to make a battlefield game that we all want so i don't want to fucking hear it but anyways so the gameplay wasn't bad but it was definitely a downgrade from its previous iteration the beta definitely had its moments but it was really hindered by the performance and lack of missing features the beta was also my first time experiencing the specialist system and man i hated the idea on paper and i hated it in action just because of how poorly implemented it was. Like they tore out the class system and didn't bother to fucking make the specialist work in a good way. If somebody has a freaking ammo kit, there's no way to tell who needs ammo or who needs to be healed because there was no indication or a call out or anything. Like everybody looks the fucking same. I can't tell who's the enemy and who's the good guy. They couldn't fucking change the color of the other team. They look exactly the same. You're telling me that they couldn't put the other team as a different shade of color? Are these devs that incompetent? They're stupid gadgets that they have are basically a non-factor if i sound pissed it's because i am so after playing the beta i just was really regretting my pre-order and then the stance came marching in do rag it's just a beta, Be beta. Be beta. Be beta. Be beta. beta. Yeah, keep moving that goalpost. You'll get to your goal eventually, right? The stands are telling me that this beta is just an old build. They're gonna have it fixed by release. Come on, Durag. At this point, I snapped. Bullshit. I can smell it from a mile away. It's blatantly obvious that this is exactly what they're going to release. I mean, they're gonna try and fix as much as they can, but I know for a fact that there's no way they're going to fix everything that was presented in this beta. At least not at launch. And guess what? I was right. Not only did they not fix the bugs that were presented in the beta, but when they released the rest of their other content, they presented more bugs, more glitches, and just a plethora of other problems along with the release. So again, I'm looking for two things. If you're just gonna do a multiplayer game, performance and content, and they fail in performance. So what about content? Well, they fail in content too, because they're only giving us 22 weapons, which sounds like a lot, but when you look at it, it's really not that much. And seven maps, that's pretty low for a AAA game. Again, the gameplay wasn't bad, but it was hindered by all the freaking bugs. It's hard to have fun when I get killed by a guy who's desyncing all over the fucking place. But Durag, what about Hazard Zone? Hazard Zone? First of all, it wasn't even fucking ready for release. They literally turned off the servers for Hazard Zone, but there was a bunch of people that were able to get footage for the game mode and it just straight looks like a watered down battle royale it looked like exactly what i read on their website i'm not sure who said it was going to be tarkov like because it simply isn't and from the people that played it they said that it was really lame and boring this game is not worth 60 70 dollars but do rag aren't you forgetting about something portal is really good with this game they remastered a bunch of maps from all the older games that you really like and they even have a map editor that's kind of like forge except you can't really move any buildings or anything like that but you can make cool game modes. Listen, all right? You, you listening close? Portal is cool. 
Okay. But I bought Battlefield 2042 for Battlefield 2042. And from everything that I've seen, fuck this game. I refunded that shit. Portal should have been the icing on the cake. Not the only thing that actually excited me. And that hurts because I wanted this game to work out. I really did. But it's just not worth that $60, $70 that it's asking for. And it just reeks of laziness. Okay, Durag, well, what's a game that's worth it to you? Well, let's take a look at Call of Duty Vanguard. Now, I'm not saying that this game is good. It's actually pretty fucking trash. But at the very least, it gives me more bang for my buck because it gives me a campaign, zombie mode, multiplayer with 20 maps, eight game modes compared to to Battlefield's 3 and 38 weapons compared to Battlefield's 22. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I would rather get Call of Duty over Battlefield 2042. And not only that, but my friends have told me that this Call of Duty actually runs better than 2042. Again, I'm not saying that the gameplay for Battlefield 2042 is bad, okay? You might actually enjoy yourself, but if you step back away from the gameplay and look at everything else, it's just not worth it. And really unacceptable for AAA standards. If you're someone that that likes the game and is having fun then good for you have at it but for me i'm done it was a nice nostalgia trip but i would prefer a much more completed game if you stuck until the end be sure to write jib jab in the comments because you a real one but yeah that's all i really got to say about battlefield so i'm gonna end it here if you enjoyed the fact that i cover games like battlefield 2042 then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon or click on the join button that's underneath the video any donation helps if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on battlefield or any other games just like it and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye